Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Norda 001 running sneaker. I thought this was a fashion channel. Well, this is relevant because over the past couple of years, we've seen some running brands creep their way into the fashion space, whether it be through collaborations like Loewe and On Running, Undercover and Nike, or brands like Satisfy Running. Norda is one of these brands to kind of follow suit and sell their sneakers for an eye-watering $285. So today we're going to be talking about the look of the shoe, sizing, comfort, and finally I will style two outfits with it. Now I first became aware of Norda from their collaboration with Satisfy Running. They had these sick editorial pictures with mud covering the entire shoe. I actually thought this is how the shoe was going to look upon release. It would be like some foam or something. To my disappointment, it was a clean running sneaker, but pretty cool nonetheless, and I kind of kept my eye on it. Uh, one of my favorite influencers, I guess, or like, yeah, Instagram accounts, kind of with posting different trail pictures with the Nora sneakers, and I always thought they were cool, but I had a pair of Hoka's, so I wasn't really in the market. But my Hoka's actually ended up ripping shortly before a 50K I had coming up, so I was desperate for a new pair of shoes. It's pretty important to me that it's a good looking sneaker. In the past, I ended up buying these pair of navy hokas with like green accents just because they were on sale and I absolutely hated running in them. I just couldn't wait to take them off and I was just counting the days until they could wear out and I could you know, buy a new pair of sneakers. One of my big pet peeves is when people wear sneakers like this, the like black and white sole with jeans. I think it looks terrible. So it's really important to me that I had a good looking shoe to run in. And that's how I stumbled across Norda. They actually were carried on Essence, which is probably where I do most of my shopping. And across a bunch of different luxury e-commerce retailers, I was finding these shoes, including Mr. Porter, My Teresa, and I ended up buying them off of Luisa via Roma, which is an Italian kind of retailer and boutique chain. Now, like I said, the price of these is $285, so they're pretty steep, but I ended up getting them on sale for around 200, which I think you can find quite a few colorways at that price. And in my opinion, Norda has the best colorways on the market. My favorites were this one, which is like a white and green retro. They looked so clean and pretty coming out of the box, um, but they're pretty dirty now. The other ones were a yellow pair and then a purple pair and this kind of orange and tannish one. The sole has a like little bit more of an off-white or dirty looking color. I really fell in love with these colorways, which was kind of the main draw for me, but on Norda's website, they advertise this shoe as a fully Denima and seamless shoe, and so it's really built on like durability and sustainability. If you don't know, Denima is basically a reinforced nylon. It's supposed to be 15 times stronger than steel of the same weight, which you know sounds strong to me, but it's this very lightweight and breathable material, so a pretty good choice for like a trail shoe that you want to be tough. One comment I have on the Denima though, is it gets dirty really easily. Um, you might just say that's my fault for picking like, you know, a white running sneaker, but I've had like, like I said, a Hoka pair that was kind of this, it was called Almond Milk. I've had Solomon XT6s that are white and all of them clean a lot easier. Whereas like you go on like a one run on the road in these and they come back looking more dirty. So. I would say like longevity of colorway is not that great. But other details, it has these reflective gray hits on the toe box. It has these lovely green laces and then some other green accents up at the top. Super pretty shoe overall. Then to go into sizing real quick, a lot of retailers you'll find these on say go half size down. Now, because I kind of alternate between an 8 and a 7.5 US, I ended up just going for the 8, which I would say is my true size, and they fit perfectly. One other thing I'll talk about with fit is the upper is has a very thin like heel and tongue. There's absolutely no padding, and if you can see, 
this tongue is connected to kind of like a sock lining or like an elastic thing that will keep your foot in so no padding to speak of which I would say when you're running isn't the most practical detail because your heel can move around a bit as compared to like most running sneakers have a much firmer um, heel cup but here you can just like push it down so not my favorite detail fit wise up until you get to this part of the outsole that is very firm lastly I'm going to be styling two outfits with these sneakers one of which is something I would actually wear running probably in the winter and then another one is more of a casual day-to-day -day outfit I find these sneakers are so good looking that I would wear them outside of like an athletic setting which is the first time I can say that about a running sneaker. Typically, it's like exclusively for running, but I find these look really good day to day. They have a little bit of like a chunky nature. So with wider shorts, I've been wearing them quite a bit. And yeah, so we'll go to that now. Yeah, so nice. I don't even know how it feels anymore. And that's going to wrap up my review of the Norda 001 running sneakers. Let me know which outfit was your favorite, or if you didn't like either of them. I guess that's okay. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I'm supposed to be an honorable king. I love chilling with the king.